Set. And action. We're all here for the for the project. I'm here too. The film is basically Claire, the main character. She's dealing with depression. To the outside world, she's got this perfect little life. It explores the life of a young girl, and she unfortunately, she um, suicides. Someone's life can seem very idealistic and perfect, and they may seem happy on the outside, but in reality, you don't know what's going on. I think with any film, it's a great opportunity for us to express and to, to tell an incredible story. I'm Carol, um, I'm 17, and I've been acting for a while now, but I always knew it was something that I wanted to do. She's a brilliant little actress, um, and a really nice, uh, humble uh, girl as well. I was actually really nervous, well I don't know, nervous and excited, first excited and then I started getting really nervous because it's like, oh no, am I going to be able to do it, but yeah, just super grateful for like this opportunity, you know. <laughs> I relate to Claire a lot because I feel like I've gone through a lot of the things that she's going through right now. So it was, it was pretty easy to kind of prepare for it because it's just tapping into those emo like emotions deep down inside, you know? She, she was Claire in a lot of ways. Uh, and so it was quite emotional directing her scenes. I play Jacob on set. I'm Claire's boyfriend. Like I'm finding it easy to sort of relate to my character as I'm in school and it's sort of easy to fit into the environment sort of. They're all, all, all a really um, good bunch and, and uh, they're just lovely, lovely people to work with um, and just the other people, the featured extras uh, as well alongside me. I act with everyone, was just really nice, supportive, it was a friendly environment. As an actor you, you, you sort of create bonds with certain people and as a director you create certain bonds with people. She's like backed off sort of thing. Yeah. I want a moment with just her drinking it. Emotion in her oh, eyes, she's, she's yeah, drinking okay. that, I, okay, not out of fun, because she wants to. I know Brendan from another film that we worked on called The Numbers Claim, and since then we've kept in contact and he asked me to join this team. It's been really enjoyable working under Brendan. He's very energetic and clearly very passionate about the project, and that really comes across in his coaching and his guidance. Brendan is such a great director and it's really professional. I have worked with Brendan Byrne uh, a few times now. We get along, we get stuff done, and he always has a finished product right at the end. He's also extremely empathetic and has a way with his writing. He knows how to communicate with people. He knows how to talk about specific things in a really, really respectful way. Yeah, she's brilliant to work with. Finding someone with that, um, that passion uh, and that drive and that commitment and loyalty, she said she's going to do something, she did it. Uh, it's, it's kind of rare in this industry. When I put makeup on an actor, I have to look at the blemishes, for starters, make sure all the red spots are covered. Red spots are the blemishes, and you try to colour match them with their skin tone. I only met Luke on another set of a film we did, Bleeding Backs. You know, if, he, if there was you know, a shot, I said, okay, let's do this. He'd go, well, hang on a second, what about this? Rah, rah, rah. I said, yeah, cool, let's do it that way. Or, you know, he wasn't afraid to put his ideas forward. He's just an all round decent guy, great professional on set as well. So, yeah, I just, I, I, can't, I can't fault him. A lot of people that are on this project, it's a love project for most of us. Um, we know someone or we've gone through something ourselves that have gotten us to a specific point or a certain point. The fact is depression is real, anxiety is real and suicide is real. We're not all the same, we all deal with things differently and we all need to start supporting one another. You know, and I just want people to talk. Just talk and spend that extra little bit of time because that might be all that it needs.
It's hard hitting, but that's um, part of its beauty, and, and it's it's definitely conveying a, a topic and a concept that really needs to be talked about and be have awareness raised for it. It's a good opportunity to be involved in something that could possibly make a big change in many people's lives. Whatever it is, our paths cross for a reason. We're all here today for this story, and I think it's going to be amazing.